love and say Here's to this like wedding cake Imagine your child that you raised with a blade outside of heaven's gate Trigger warning The following, what was it? Following film contains depictions of violence Viewer discretion is advised Alright, this claim must Let's do it complete Never shied away from talking about a dark topic or telling a dark story, man. One slice. Okay. Get an idea where this is going already. So opening shot there, we got like the boys kicking back. Excited. We're heading to a party tonight. I'm going with my best friends, Marty and Mike. We met at Minds for Prey, so when it's time to leave, we'll already feel larger than life. Mm -hmm. Right, I think it's Marty's turn to get the Uber. But Marty says he hasn't got the Uber wrap. That's convenient, isn't it, bro? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll get a mic. You can get the Uber back. Hey, listen, on a serious note real quick. There's always that one brother. I ain't got the Uber app, man. Oh, my phone's dead. There's always one brother. There's always one brother that does that. But all right, cool. Exciting vibes. The driver drives and the GPS says that we'll arrive in five to Stacey's place. Stacey's great. She's the hottest. GPS says that we'll arrive in five to Stacey's place. Stacey's great. She's the hottest. I really like what the engineer did there from a mix and mastering standpoint. Like, loop that kick three times over. GPS says that we'll arrive in five to Stacey's place. Stacey's great. She's the hottest chick at school with the nicest eyes. We get there and we stride inside to like 10 girls and 19 guys. Surprise, surprise. I'm already feeling a bit crook. I knew I probably should have took those fucking hydro lights that mum gave me. But fuck it, I'ma get through it. Though there's nothing in my stomach now except fluid. Fucking Marty keeps on. I drinking an empty stomach. Fuck you up, man. Fuck you up for real. But fuck it, I'ma get through it. Though there's nothing in my stomach now except fluid. Fucking Marty keeps asking me where the esky is. I guess he's pissed. He's standing directly next to it. I go and find Mike with his friend Stuart. I said they reckon Marty's maggot. Yep, knew it. All of a sudden the music stops. People start moving off. Fuck, something's about to get ruined. Basically the place scatters. What's happening, Stacey says. Gate crashes. I see him walking and I remain placid, but this one guy's got a blade in his grey jacket. When he catches me, look at him, it creates havoc. Suddenly, all of them start to wave daggers. I'm afraid that they may stab us. That's when he says, what the fuck are you looking at? Want your face damaged? Then all hell breaks loose. Everybody's yelling everything has fell straight through. I know we're like focused on the video that appeared with this, but listen to how complete is delivering these lines. The wave daggers. I'm afraid listen. that they might stab us. That's when he says, "What the fuck are you looking at? Want your face damaged?" Then all hell breaks loose. Everybody's yelling. Everything has fell straight through. Oh, that flow, and even from a production standpoint, there's this high pitch like siren, like EQ'd siren, like um, that, that sounds cold. Then all hell breaks loose. Everybody's oh. yelling. Everything has fell straight through. Stuart says drive my car Dude I can't drive your car I'm on my fucking L plates too That's when everybody rushes to the front yard But on guard and Marty is getting punched hard Then I'm just glassed And the cunts laugh Now I'm fading in and out as they run past Guess they got a fright from the coppers lights Cause they're all gone now Happy that they got a fight I look around like what a sight Is everybody right? Right Wait I've forgotten Mike That's when I see Jack and Muhammad Looking at me panicked like we need to have a discussion What's happening, brothers? They say it's not good. Mike has a slash in his stomach. I start rapidly running, I find Mike, but his gash isn't covered. I take my jacket off and wrap it above it. Though there's gallons of blood, I just act like it's nothing. Even though the fact is it's actually gushing. Marty passed me a bandage or something. Don't worry, Mike, we got an ambulance coming. A second later and I see my mate's life vanish from his eyes as I hold his hand and I hug him. Now it's sunlight. There's news cameras everywhere and the blood's dry. Again, I know we're focused on the visual. First off, the visual is fucking cold. But secondly, listen to how complete is now delivering these lines. Listen to to the transition from the moment of madness to like the post uh, trauma event. A second later, and I see my mate's life vanish from his eyes as I hold his hand and I hug him. Now it's sunlight. There's news cameras everywhere, and the blood's dry. Sounds like he's choking up as he's spitting these lyrics. We just wanted to unwind. They just wanted some trouble. We just wanted a fun night. Now I've lost a best friend. And a mum has lost her son's life. All because of some guy with a dumb knife. And all it took was one slice! That. That. <laughs> That's, that shit's na nasty, man. Nasty in a good way. Um. All I'll say is this. I wonder what.
Unless I'm just, unless I've glazed over it and I'll no doubt have comments for months on end of going, Chazza, you fucking idiot. Um, the meaning behind it in terms of like, what's the reason these men run up? Was, did they run up for the sake of just being bad? Did they have beef with someone and obviously other people are then caught wrong place, wrong time? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I know he said, uh, what's going on Stace? And she said, gate crashes. But does that have a different meaning than us or something like like to uh, to like from a UK perspective, if something like that's happening, it's either because somebody they don't like somebody at that event, yeah, and they're trying to get one person, yeah, they got the drop on where they are, they're running up in the yard or the party or whatever it is, trying to get my man got. Sometimes it could be someone that was at the party has left, had an issue with someone and has come back with the boys. And again, it's just on just on badness for fucking up the thing. The only thing I wonder about this is what was the motive for the boys running up in there doing their badness? And I wonder how real this story is to complete. I wonder if he's just taken a story and has decided to talk about it as like a generic story that is very relevant and very much can happen and kind of just wanted to tell a, a, a story or whether that's something specific to him or one of his closest friends or something like that. Um, yeah, just a couple of questions. Complete being one of the most talented uh, artists to come out of Australia and I think a track like this really shows why he's one of the most talented, why he's one of the most respected. Um, you know, his storytelling ability in this song is top tier. Top tier for the perspective of a, when you come to a, a chronological event story, when you're trying to tell uh, events in the order that they happened, you've got to have this fine balance between simplicity so that you can understand it without the video. Like if I just listened to that as an audio, could I picture everything that's happening? But at the same time, be complex enough to keep us on our toes, to keep it interesting as a standalone track as well. Um, Obviously, the video helps bring this to life and makes it uh, uh, more accessible to a wider audience. But I think really with, with these kind of tracks, you really do need to appeal to the real listeners, you know, the real lyric lyricists and, and, and the people who like to dive deep into tracks like this. Um, because what Complete does really well in this track is although make the story sound simple what he's doing from a rapping side is very very technical the way how he was able to transition between flows the way he's able to change his cadence based on what's going on in the song uh the engineering and, and production side did a lot of that work as well here and it complemented very well to what complete was doing back and forth um obviously what uncle sam and dropshot media has done uh here with the visuals is laid that out again so it's more accessible for people doing reactions as an example um but i think even if you were to listen to this as a standalone audio it makes a lot of sense i still think the audio does the job of telling the story without the visuals and for that i've got to give a round of applause com to complete because honestly he deserves it like he's put this together very very well and although it may seem simplistic there's a lot of thought and a lot of attention to details that go into this as i said i do wonder what the motives were for, for the people in 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 this in this story um Again, maybe it is obvious and on my first listen, it's just glazed over my head. If so, let me know. If not, is it meant to be kind of ambiguous? Is it meant to be a little bit more generic and a little bit more wide so that it can fit different narratives? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what Complete says about that. But um, yeah, honestly, I've really enjoyed his last two drops. Uh, the only reason I'm writing this is a great track that I'm still actually listening to now. Um, so yeah, Complete is looking like he's going to be having a big year.